will solve one problem asked in the year of 1998 in gate civil engineering and the question is the plan of stairs supported at each end by lending spanning parallel with the rise as shown in the figure the effective span of staircase slab is so here we have to estimate effective span of the given staircase one figure is given let me draw the figure here So these are your steps, riser and treads. This dimension is given, which is called lending, 1200 mm. This dimension is given, 2200 mm. These two are called lendings and this is called going and this dimension is 300 mm. So here, this half of this, I will be calling Y. This will be your X, this is going G and this will be Y. One thing we should notice here, X should not be greater than 1 meter, Y should not be greater than 1 meter. If it is greater than 1 meter, we should take the value equal to 1 meter. So here if you see, if I take half of 200 which is equal to X, so 200 divided by 2 is equal to 600 mm, okay fine, it is less than 1 meter. So we can take the value of x equal to 600 mm. No problem. Let's talk about the value of y. y is equal to, total is given 2200. So 2200 divided by 2, half of it. It is equal to 1100 mm. So here you can see it is greater than 1 meter. 1 meter means 1000 mm. It is 1100 mm. So y is greater than 1 meter. So if it is the y is greater than 1 meter, I should take y equal to 1 meter. So here I can take the value of y is equal to 1000 mm. Why? Because the maximum value of y as per IS456 is 2000 in the calculating the value of effective span is taken as uh, 1 meter or 1000 mm. So these are the two values. The effective span can be estimated. L effective is equal to x plus g plus y. This is nothing but your called effective span. So here the value of x we have estimated 600 mm, g means going is given 300 mm, uh, 3000 mm plus y is 1000 mm. So here 4600 mm is the effective span for the given staircase slab. So we have 4 options. So answer is B, 4600 mm. Thank you so much. 